Happy Friday. I have not vlogged yet on a Friday. Just got done uh, on one of my business calls with a business partner of mine, working on a whole new project, a new startup. Very excited about this project. And I uh, got a little bit of some martial arts training in. As you guys know, daily routine, you don't wanna skip that. Right? If you've got you know some sort of uh, training, some sort of physical fitness that you do in your routine, something that helps you to get focused, get in the right state of mind for the day, you don't wanna skip that, you don't wanna miss that. You know, started raining on me, it doesn't matter. I know a lot of people, they, uh, they quit once the conditions change into uh, something that's uncomfortable or something that is not uh, to their liking or to their way, their control. And uh, a lot of people end up quitting. They end up stopping their routine. And for me, I say if it's raining out, that's just another you know, good, good little distraction or a good little challenge to uh, see if you can stay on task, see if you can stay focused. Don't let the rain, don't let a change in the conditions break your focus and break you from completing a task, a goal, accomplishing something. I'm heading over to the greenhouse right now because it's raining outside, but it's not raining in the greenhouse. So I got to take care of a couple new trees. So come on inside, I'll show you some of the progress that we've made here on the greenhouse. Made a little bit more progress in the greenhouse. As you can see, got a little makeshift bench up where uh, we got some of the plants right now. Now in the spring or late winter, early spring, this is where we'll be doing all of our seed starts. Uh, but right now we got our new lemon tree right here and we've got a new fig tree. Probably gonna pick up a couple more of these ones. You know, they came, they got some figs on them. And uh, yeah, I gotta make sure that these guys get watered. Our hibiscus are in here, aloe vera's in here, and then we gotta bring these things in for the uh, coming of the winter. So let's see, let's check this out. Let's see, how is it in here right now? It is like 65 degrees in the greenhouse right now, and it's like 55 degrees outside right now, so 10 degree difference in the greenhouse. And I'm not done sealing the greenhouse yet. I still gotta finish around the doors, but I think that's pretty good, right? Not bad at all. Oh, this, this corner is warmer. This corner says that it's like, it's almost 70 degrees. It's like 69 degrees in this corner. So a little bit warmer over here. So that's good to know. That's why I got two different thermometers in here. Because right now the sun's probably hitting this corner a little bit more intensively, even though the sun's behind the clouds. So in the winter time, I'm probably gonna put together a solar heating system in here just something small just something that at night when it gets cold at night like down into the 20s 30s if we need to give it a little bit of a boost for some extra heat then uh, we can go ahead and do that all for free powered by the sun um, suspecting we don't need to heat it for a long time so i could put that on a timer you know run it for 15 minutes at night and it does a really good job at holding that heat, should hold it. So it's an experiment, we'll test it and we'll see how it does and uh, we'll make any adjustments as necessary. All right, I gotta get these two trees watered real quick. plan is eventually we're going to put a uh, rain capturing system on the greenhouse and then uh, all the watering for the greenhouse will be with rainwater. And basically it's a little experiment we're learning because Christy and I have been talking that if we ever move again then we'll probably have to be somewhere <laughs> where uh, we would be 100% off grid. So we're using the greenhouse and some conversions and things like that to start learning and practicing and all that stuff. Uh, for if that day is to come. So we're always keeping our eye out for future opportunities and stuff like that. Got future plans. Got to keep moving forward. Don't stand still. Don't look back. If you're standing still, you got to remember something that the rest of the world is moving forward. So if you're standing still, life is leaving you behind. Got, I, got a, I got a cat hair on there. But uh, that's what happens. So 
Don't stand still. Don't move backwards. Got to move forward all the time. I did a video a couple weeks ago on uh, mindset. What kind of mindset that it takes to be successful in your goals and in your dreams. And uh, I had someone comment on there, well, you know, show us your Porsche. And I'm like thinking, dude, not everybody measures success the same way. You know, this, this is my dream right here. You know, my dream isn't necessarily cars and, and all that. My dream is what I'm doing right now. I love living here. I love that, you know, most of my property, 90% of my property is just wild natural forest. Every morning I wake up, there's, there's deer in my yard. There's turkey in my yard. You know, I walk through the forest, I got groundhogs. I got armadillos running around. I've got, you know, there's just so much life. You know, I can forage food. I've got the garden. And I've got all this space that I basically, I'm free. You know, I can do what I want. I can think what I want. If I want to shout, I can shout. I can, you know, just live according to how I want to live. You know, just remember that. And you know, whatever your goals are, whatever your dreams are, you know, try not to do like a comparison game with, you know, your success, your, your achievements of success compared to someone else's achievements of success. You know, if, if getting that car or big house or whatever is super important, if that's a measure tool for you, then go after that. You know, there's, I don't think there's anything wrong with being, you know, having a, a more materialistic approach to defining your success. Whatever tools, you know, it's your life. Go live your life and experience the things that you want to experience. You know, my measure of success is for me personally, to be able to have this to be able to live this. This has been a dream of mine since I was a kid, was to have my own version of my grandfather's farm. You know, he had a farm in central Wisconsin on about a hundred acres. It was a tree farm. And as a kid, I loved going out there. We spent summers out there and spring breaks and winter breaks and hunting seasons and all that. We just go up there long weekends. My dad used to uh, fly. He was a flight instructor out of a regional airport, he used to fly. So sometimes we would fly up there to the farm for a day, go shoot the guns, go sight in the new scopes, and, uh, and just enjoy the country, enjoy the freedom that it offers. So as a kid, this has always been my vision, my dream of success towards achieving my goals. And uh, I'm just thankful every single day that I get to, that I get to do this. And I'll tell you, if I can do this, anybody can do it. You know, I'm not the uh, I'm not the brightest person in the world, but I'll tell you, I I work hard. Just can't be lazy. But look at this. This is this is awesome. So whenever I'm thinking about my measures of success, what helps me to measure, you know, how far I've come and achieving my goals, it's never an end of the road type of measurement. I try to get these advances in my life that allow me more opportunities to keep pushing my goals and my dreams further out. So being here, for me, this is like ultimate freedom to stretch my brain, to stretch out my ideas. And I'm far more productive in the country than I've ever been in the city. Like I can get so much done in you know two, three hours here for my businesses, for my personal development, my personal growth than I've ever been able to do in a whole day living in the city. You might be the opposite. The city might be a place for your inspiration, a place for your mind and ideas to expand. So don't fall into that little pitfall, that little trap of you know, other people's ideas of meaning of success and measurements of success, you know, kind of creeping into having to be yours too. I love days like this. You got that rain, the forest smell is just like super potent, and maximized. It gets the senses really going. You can you almost feel all the neurons and everything in the brain firing stronger, faster, and connecting with all your senses. You probably noticed that I switched up the day a little bit. 
My day did not start off outside with nature. I uh, had to get a little bit of work done on some website stuff. Here's just a, a little bit of how I like to operate. I start planning for the next year in the third quarter of this year. So 2022, I'm a, I, I started planning for that and getting my ideas, doing all the research that I needed to do back in third quarter. Now that we're in fourth quarter, now I'm starting to put all of those ideas and plans into execution. I like starting the new year in the last quarter of this year. A lot of people wait for January 1st to roll around to start on their you know New Year's goals or resolutions, whatever term you wanna use, but I don't. I think that if you're starting next year, next year by January 1st, you're too late. Be ahead of time, okay? And, uh, Start working it all now. Don't get too early. There's, I think there's a such thing as being too far ahead of time because it's pretty unpredictable what the new year can bring and, and all that. So I wouldn't be trying to live 2021 as if it is 2022. But in the fourth quarter, start putting all of your pieces on the chessboard. Get it set up now. So when 2022, January 1st comes rolling around, you can make the first move while everybody else is now getting to setting up the chest. Oh, yeah, I can hear you a lot better now. Yeah, I can hear my <laughs> It is sunny. It's sunny and raining at the same time right now. What? Yeah. Nice hat, man. Here, if I, if I turn it around, you can probably see the, the rain in the water right now. Well, this is a little embarrassing. <laughs> you, you, need, you need to make sure you have two with you at all times. <laughs> so it's definitely, uh, I took care of any issues like customer problems. Okay. Yeah, so that, that isn't, isn't the quality of the sticks. That's whatever they're doing in the, in the class. That's, that's them, you know, they, these places don't know how to actually train. They just like whack sticks together as hard as they can. It doesn't matter what stick you buy then. Like all sticks are gonna 